Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today I am introducing or showing you the new bottom bracket that I have just bought from BB Infinite. Um, this is a BB30 for my bench and the reason why I decided to buy the bottom bracket is uh, mainly because that the SRAM dub BB that I'm running is creaking in my frame. So I'm not sure if this is an installation issue, but I know it has been a well-known issue within the, the Venge community that um, BB30 creaks unless either you change your bottom bracket or you... Uh, I know some people recommend using Loctite onto the... Uh, installing the Loctite paste on the frame, but I've decided to give BB Infinite a try um, so here is the unboxing, um, but before I begin, uh, let me just give a shout out to the BB Infinite team, they have done, I mean they've answered all my queries very promptly. Um, Gary, I believe, who is the owner of BB Infinite, was actually responding to all my queries on um, Facebook Messenger. Uh, I had to ask him which was the specific bottom bracket that I have to buy uh, for my bench and he, he responded to everything that I needed and he sent me the link. To which bottom bracket I needed. So I paid about, this is the steel version, I did not opt for the ceramic or the higher end ceramic pot, uh, bearings. I just don't think I require that and I think the steel bearings is enough or is good enough for me anyway and it should be pretty smooth. So I paid about 300 and oh, just over 300 Singapore dollars uh, including shipping. So all in all it took about three or four days for it for it to reach from the US to Singapore. So it came, it comes in this package. Uh, I've actually opened it, I've just, just repackaged it just to show what it looks like. So it comes in this cardboard box, it's pretty small. Okay, so here is the bottom bracket itself. And then you've got some kind of tool here. Uh, that is used for the installation and I think these are the spaces and there's uh, these two rings here that I believe uh, covers the bottom bracket and some re and a bit of retaining paste uh, so this is good that they've provided everything in this box uh, that's it and there is no user manual uh, which I'll come to that a bit later Okay, I just had to move uh, locations because I think it was a bit dark. Um, okay, so this is the bottom bracket. Let me just reopen this again. So yeah, as I was saying, it's a bit it's a bit heavy because I think it's all like CNC machine aluminium, um, and it looks like this. So okay, it says that you have to scan for instructions. So I think this is a good thing that they've actually printed everything on the bottom bracket. It makes life a bit easier with less paperwork and uh, better for the environment. So you got to scan using a QR code and everything is online on their website. And here are the specifications, yada yada yada, made in the USA and it's dark. So there is actually a piece of metal cylindrical ring in there. I'm not too sure. Not too sure what this is, but I'm assuming I just have to um, just push it in through the non-drive side and use my BB tool to push it in but before that, so there's also this um, plastic thing that says that you have to insert it on the other side of the module I think this one comes off pretty easily, you have to remove this I uh, just have to use something to jam it up so yeah, and uh, apparently it's supposed to be really smooth these are the, not the ceramic bearings, it's much more cheaper and you have to use this tool and somehow it goes in like that uh, I'll probably just make another video later on uh, showing how I install the bottom bracket uh, so these are the two let me just open this so I think this is the uh, sorry I'm not exactly sure what this, this is called but I think it just kind of goes over like this to protect the, protect the the bearings um, then of course it comes with these two additional I think these are spaces that goes at the sides I'm not sure right now um, how this fits 
I'll have to compare it against my current setup on my bike and then I'll figure it out yeah uh, yeah I think it looks pretty sturdy for now I mean first impressions and I think it's all made in-house in the US um, yeah so I'll just show you another video in another video later like how I install this I'm just waiting for some of my tools to arrive let me know what you guys think about the BB Infinite if you have one and your experience using it I mainly want to the, like I said earlier the, the main reason is I just need this to solve my creaking issue but I think another plus side is how smooth the bearings are and I'm not too sure how I'm going to service the bearings but I think I can just do it while the, the, the BB is still on the frame I saw some videos from BB Infinite showing how you can just you know remove the seals and just spray WD-40 use an air compressor and just clean it up but I'm, I'm more curious as to how am I going to remove this um, BB from the frame once I've insert, inserted it in uh, I'm not sure how, how, how this is going to be I'm going to push this out once it's stuck in there probably it'll be just stuck in there forever uh, yeah thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think if you have a BB infinite